We're back on the David Pakman Show. I am Farron Cousins sitting in for David today. And if you happen to enjoy what you see from me, I do encourage you, please go subscribe to uh, both of my YouTube channels, youtube.com slash the ring of fire and youtube.com slash fair and balanced. You can also find me across social media, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or Facebook at fair and balanced. Now let's get back into some of the really weird things that happened during Donald Trump's uh, rally slash town hall in Flint, Michigan. During that rally in Flint this week, Donald Trump decided to address an issue that I guess had been festering with him for a full week. And it is of course, when Kamala Harris said at last week's presidential debate that people were leaving his rallies early. And even though his rally in Flint took place again, a full week after she made those comments, it was still living in his head rent free. So Donald Trump decided to take a moment and address the fact of, you know, people leave his rallies early by not only claiming that people totally don't do that, but if they did, he would just call it a day and leave himself. Right? Here's what he told the crowd. I don't think I've ever said this before. So we do these rallies. They're massive rallies. Everybody loves, everybody stays to the end. By the way, you know, when she said that, well, <laughs> your rallies, people leave. Honestly, nobody does. And if I saw them leaving, I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, make America great again. And I'd get the hell out. Okay. So that is how Donald Trump addressed the issue of people leaving his rallies early. And I'm pretty sure that was kind of meant as a warning to all of the people that were at that particular rally. Like, Hey, if you guys leave, I'm out the door too. Okay. I'm not going to be the last one sitting here to turn the lights off. If you leave, I'm out. So, you know, if you want to go, I'll go, uh, weird. What's even weirder <laughs> is that this of course has been living in his head for a week and to make matters worse for Donald Trump on the issue of people leaving his rallies, Joe Rogan dropped his new podcast for the week on Monday. And this was the first time that Joe Rogan had addressed what happened at last week's debate. And Joe Rogan is definitely not a, you know, left of center, uh, Kamala Harris supporter, but during his podcast, Rogan did take a, a moment to praise Harris for basically beating the living tar out of Donald Trump specifically on the rally issue. Here is what Rogan said. Amazing job. She's nailing it. Uh, then, you know, he talks specifically about, uh, her baiting Trump into talking about the crowd sizes. Oh my God, this is jujitsu where she's like, if you go to his rallies, his crowds are boring. And then he mocked Donald Trump saying, my crowds are the best crowds. I have the number one crowds. He couldn't help himself. Rogan said, now I don't think that this means that Joe Rogan is coming over to the left and he's going to endorse Kamala Harris for president, but he's kind of been, you know, a bit of an ally to Donald Trump, I guess we could call it. And for him to go out there and openly mock Donald Trump for falling for that bait, right? She set the trap in front of him basically said, here is a trap. What are you going to do? And Donald Trump said, well, I'm going to get in the trap. I, it's a nice trap. You did a good job. I'm going to get right in it, but I'm not just going to get in it tonight. I am going to live in this trap and I am going to continue ranting and raving like a crazy person because it got under my skin so badly. It hurt my little feelings to the point where I can't think of anything else so that I have to address it with a new crowd a week later. It's no secret that people are leaving Donald Trump's rallies early. I mean, if you've spent any time on social media over the last two years, we have seen the clips. We have seen the footage. Not only have we seen people filing out the doors as early as 15 minutes into Donald Trump beginning to speak, but we also see all the empty chairs. Even when people are not filing out, he's not able to fill the arenas. Now don't get me wrong. He's still getting thousands of people. He's getting massive crowds, but it's nowhere near like what he used to pull in. And I do think that part of the reason for that is because he's not attracting any new people. 
It's the same old, same old that have always gone to his rallies. The people who have always supported him because they like the greatest hits, you know, they, they want to hear the 2020 election was stolen. They want to hear build the wall. Hell throw in locker up as an encore, right? The people leaving, I think are the potentially new people, right? Like, Hey, yeah, yeah. We love the greatest hits, but we've heard them a lot. We, we want to hear the new material. Like, how are you going to lower grocery bills? And he doesn't play those hits. No, because they don't exist. So those people get fed up. Okay. We're hearing election lies. We're, we're hearing about a wall that's already crumbling to dust over most parts in the Southwest. We don't care. Give us something new. Give us something exciting. And Trump himself has been bringing exceptionally low energy to most of his performances recently. So people don't want to be there and you can't really blame them at this point. Donald Trump did this to himself by having no new material. Nobody wants to go and see Jim Gaffigan make the hot pockets joke at every stop along a tour when he's promoting a new comedy special. We get it. It was funny back then but we've heard it a hundred times. We don't need to hear it again, but that's what Trump is. He is a comedian with just three jokes that he tells over and over and over again. When I'm working on the show or doing stuff on my computer, staying focused and getting in the zone is super important. It's not always easy. I would try Spotify or YouTube playlists. I'd end up actually more distracted than focused. And then someone told me about Brain FM's focus music, which is actually made by scientists working with musicians specifically to help you focus. I tried it and it worked really well for me, which is why I asked them to be a sponsor. With Brain FM, I just feel more productive and focused, easier to start on difficult work, easier to stay focused without getting distracted and do that really important deep work that I love to talk about. The team behind Brain FM actually won a National Science Foundation grant related to ADHD. And the app includes a special mode just for ADHD if you need it. They even have amazing sleep sounds that I've started using at night. You can try Brain FM totally free for an entire month. Just go to brain.fm slash Pacman. The link is down below.